Wow, okay, let's see. Let's see if we can get to 10 million. I mean, if Fur Buff survives, we can do it. And I wonder if this can do more than 14 million. <laughs> I mean, 14 million on my pay to win team against this free to play one. Ten million guys. That's that's what you want as free to play. Recreate it. I mean, I'll try to run it again and see if we can recreate it, but definitely achievable. 10 million using free to play formation. So uh, it's full auto. Full auto. If you can manually cast better than full auto, you will do better. I'm just too lazy. And there we go. 10 million free to play. Right. So let's talk about what I've done here. Right. So obviously, I've done over 14 million already. Uh, so I can't even save that, but let's redeploy and let's talk through what we've done here. So, the boss spawn adds. We don't worry about the adds. There's not enough AOE damage for us to kill the adds. Uh, we're not bringing in any... Uh, we're not bringing in any uh, attack down beside through buff. And see this inflicting stun rock. This is what was causing our Adolphus to be stunned. So if this placement doesn't work for you, move him a little bit back. Okay. The difference here will be that Eli will not get healed. We don't need that healing, right? Well, let's go back here because, you know, the placement might be really important because it also affects how the ad, the, ad, the second ad that will rush to your backline will behave. So he runs to the fattest hero away and stuns them. Uh, next thing is we can only use one melee because the boss will do fire damage and if we could one stack of burn to all surrounding units so we want to have one melee which will be our tank uh, because we want to avoid damage coming from this so he does fire damage to all and if the target is under burn it also triggers conflagration which removes one stack and deals direct trigger aoe damage of burn once okay so we want to avoid that we want to avoid as much damage as possible and obviously there's chain lightning there's nothing we can do to avoid it i think okay and defense penalty too as well so bringing someone with cleanse will be good but we got cleanse from uh fur buff passive and we got cleanse from alexandra so let's talk about the heroes i've chosen obviously all the heroes will have the same stats and the only difference will be the skills so fur buff has max skills and we use an attack aura okay i'm not going for the defensive one we could if you if you find a good balance but yeah we're going for ally with max skills you know rare hero it's easy to do and what's important here is look at the hero stats when before you choose them all the poison all the wild all the rally will and dauntless and etc will have high crit rate and crit damage. If we look at supports that you think would do damage, like Sigrid, she doesn't have these stats, right? So look at that. Low attack, low crit, and crit damage. So she will not do that much damage. That's why I went for ally. Now, good shout out there on the stream. Use Eric. Yes, I can use Eric. Eric is a legendary hero, but everyone should have Eric. I mean, everyone will get Eric if they finish the campaign. So there's no reason for me not to use it. I used, uh, I used uh, the Traveler, right? I used Traveler previously, and I got like five, seven million damage. But this went up and beyond. So Eric is my first legendary, uh, and my first legendary that has max skills. This is the only legendary that I used my scrolls on, and the reason for that is I use Eric everywhere. And he's amazing. I mean, he must be the, he might be the most undervalued uh, legendary because people think it's free. It's, it's not good. UTR is no good, but he is. Ally, as I said, and then Hexandra. Okay, we got Hexandra to heal and also dispel. 
there we go, and extra healing when the heroes are below HP in the world. So our sustain comes from fur buffs, uh, battle skill and Hexandra's healing and battle skill as well. Now our damage mitigation, which is important as well, and Adolphus. If you have Adolphus, use Adolphus. Definitely, uh, Adolphus will do bigger shields than Hexandra's heals. He does on average between 15 to 16,000 shield compared to Hexandra's 12,000 heal. So this will help you mitigate the damage. And as I said, I'm doing that on auto. You can actually time that. You can time the shield before the ultimate and you can do attack down before the ultimate as well to mitigate as much damage. Just find your best, best way. I'm doing that on auto because I want to do it the lazy way for those who are lazy. Uh, so yeah, sh we don't care about the damage here. We care about the shield and uh, we care about the ultimate energy as well. This is important. And if obviously if we had someone else to grant shields, he will heal as well, but we don't. So yeah, if you don't have Adolphus, then you should look for some other kind of sustain. So from poison team, there's Vikuch. If you have Vikuch, you can use Vikuch. You could use uh, Garian as well. He has healing nexus as well as deep of immunity for single target. If this happens on troll, it's amazing, but sometimes it does not. I tried, I tried him, and it did not. If you think you can survive long enough with just Fur buff and Hexandra, you can go for more damage. You can uh, bring another damage dealer, which could be us, right? We can bring him, but I would suggest against bringing another melee. I would suggest bring, not to bring another melee. You could go for some someone like Dane. I mean, at least it's attack penalty, right? If you max his skills, um, you know, healing prohibition and fear. So there's a little bit of crowd control for these annoying nuts. So Dane will work too, but I'm, I'm afraid those two will not be enough to keep you alive. Unless you can do more damage in a shorter period of time, right? That sounds about... That sounds about it, really. There's no much. Uh, I don't have Vikic, so I couldn't test with Vikic. Another good option is him. Uh, he basically does healing reduction as well with AoE. And um, he steals the ultimate energy, so slowing boss down. Um, and also attack penalty as well. Uh, you could even bring Sigrid if you need support, really. I mean, attack penalty is obviously uh, damage mitigation as well. So yeah, this team, and it works. You, you could see what I've done previously, right? <laughs> Quite a lot of 10 million, 10 million. This is what we need. The boss max reward is at 10 million. That's pretty much it. And there's nothing else. And if this doesn't work, as I said, if this doesn't work for you, try moving them back. Right? Because the only benefit of this is we have extra healing or ally, which we don't need. But also the AI of this mob behaves a little bit differently because when we do this he has a feather um, travel distance basically but this worked and I'm gonna keep it this way so this is the 10 million as a free-to-play player with few substitutions you can do as I said summer to summarize the hero stats will be the same the only difference will be the hero skills so if you have the skills at the same level you can expect similar results but obviously it might not happen on the first fight because everything is RNG, random. It might happen on second, might happen on seventh, but it will happen eventually. I mean, this happened on my first fight after a few amendments. And now if you don't have fur buff, that might be an issue. If you don't have a fur buff, you can try. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Bye.